This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona, formerly Wheel Kinetics. Uh, we were Wheel Kinetics for 13 or 14 years. Um, we're doing a major upgrade in our website, the way we do things, uh, and we needed a new name. Wheel Kinetics kind of confused people forever, um, so we're Crosscut now. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more, watch the blogs or check out the blogs on our uh, uh, webpage and on our ads and it'll explain a lot more. You learn a lot about Bulletproof and uh, branding and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, we're selling this truck. It's an 04 F250. It's a 6.8 liter V10, four wheel drive XLT. Has 77,817 miles, very low miles. It was a theft recovery purchased directly from Allstate Insurance in Antelope, California. It is on a salvage title due to theft, not collision. Basically, the attorneys for the insurance company do not want any more liability. Uh, so the way they divorce this truck is by giving it a salvage title. That way, whoever we sell it to can't sue them. Um, basically, they're just divorcing the truck. That's why they do it. Um, this is exactly how we bought it, except that we had to get some new wheels and tires because the thief stole the wheels and tires, stole the front shocks and the rear shocks. Uh, so we had to replace those. Um, and broke the column. Anyway, we brought it here. Uh, we did our inspection. It needs, oh, they also sold a catalytic converter. The V10 catalytic converters are expensive and they, uh, the thieves steal them left and right. Uh, anyway, so we had to put a new catalytic converter on it. Uh, we bought a used set of wheels and tires from uh, our uh, local tire shop that they had. Um, decent uh, treads, good looking wheels. They had to be big for this lift. Um, rear shock brackets. Uh, six shocks, two for the rear, four for the front. Uh, but used a steering column, drag link and alignment, wiper blades and a detail. Um, runs and drives great. I actually had this big guy going down the highway yesterday uh, on the way to the uh, exhaust shop to get the cap put on it. And usually when they're this big and lifted, they float a lot and they're kind of all over the place. They make a bunch of noise. I had this thing doing 75 and I thought it was great. Um, we're still waiting on a driver door handle for it uh, and a lock cylinder, but that will be done before it's uh, delivered. Um, actually, I'm gonna go pick it up at Home Settle Ford, probably at the end of this test drive with you. Um, but we have to get that done. Other than that, we're good to go. Obviously, brand new Pro Comp shocks. Um, eight inch lift is the prediction here we didn't install the lift but we predict that's what it is anyway, there's your uh exhaust it's a big truck little thing here my job in these videos isn't to tell you what you want to hear and puff the goods so to speak it's to make sure that whoever buys this truck knows exactly what they're buying speaking of which the tire size on this thing what do we got going on here tire wise? I believe, there they are, 35, 12 and a half, 16 LTs. Okay. Little thing here and here. Your bed. out the lock cylinder so we gotta get, get a brand new hand the hand, brand new handle and a lock cylinder that's happening right after this all right let me get this thing started so i get some air conditioning going for one then we'll go into the hood in a second 77,849 miles all right let me go through all the invoices that we've done for this thing we spent a thousand seventy seven dollars on this truck um 625 i'm sorry five eh, no i'm sorry 610 you can't see it right there it says 610 on it um there's the mileage in the vin they did an inspection uh but, but, but no start well that's because it didn't have a column so they put a new start the steering column in it wiper blades new battery uh front and rear shock absorbers let's see center drag link alignment that was a thousand dollars right let's see 
These are the shock brackets I bought from uh, Home Settle Ford, from Home Settle for this truck, 119. These are the actual shocks that we bought from Four Wheel Parts, um, four and two, the fronts and the rears. Um, that was 300. Here's the uh, Carfax. There's your VIN. History of events, uh, history of events affecting this vehicle's uh, value. Carfax blends the Carfax and the Kelly Blue Book, whatever the history of it. Um, if this was on a clear title without the theft, on a, sal on a clear title, it'd probably be well into the 20s. That's why it's 17,080. Salvage is due to theft. Vandalism is the column and obviously the door handle and all the stuff they stole. Wheels, tires, shocks, the whole bit. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There's your VIN here. So it was in Colfax, California. 610 of 20. See how it's going up in mileage? So you know this is actual. 77,379. 610. It's the last mileage rating was 610 of 2020. Then it's stolen a week later. 67 of 2020. It was stolen. Okay? So a week later, and now it's got a couple hundred miles more on it. Uh, it was recovered 915. Okay? So basically they stole it and then stole that stuff off it. They also stole the radio, which we didn't replace. Um, here's your VIN for the title. There's Allstate's the owner. Allstate signed it off to Wheel Kinetics. 77,810 miles, right? 429 of 21. All right, that's that. Bum, 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 bum. Go into the hood. Here we go. So it's obviously it's got an aftermarket air box. There's your Ford stamp here, so you know you got an original fender. Ford stamp on the core support. Ford stamp right here on the core support. Should be another one right here, so you know the fenders are original. And another one right there. So you got all the original parts up front. You got the cat sticker where it belongs. We're good to go. Good thing I left the other door unlocked. This is the habit I've developed in the last year of uh, locking myself out. And I think, let's make sure that I got the window locks off. There you go, haha, <laughs> there you go. That's my other habit, as I lock the windows, then I have to go around again. <laughs> so, all right, there's your windows. Good shape. Boom. All right. Okay. Back seat looks brand new. By the way, it's going to be 114 today, Tucson. Last year wasn't, we never got this hot, but that's a good thing because when you get really hot in Tucson, that means you're about to have a gigantic monsoon season, which we need. Let me get my seatbelt on here. I'm guessing that this thing was probably an air horn or, or maybe some sort of a leveling thing that they stole on it. I'm leaving the gauge there just because I don't want a big hole there. Um, not sure what this is either. That was probably something having to do with this. This is probably a leveling. This is probably the compressor and that was the gauge. Um, so they probably stole the air suspension too. Uh, air is blowing ice cold, thank God. Cup holder. Let's see what they 
left you for wiring in here. I see an antenna cord. Uh, aha, oh, that's nice. They left you the whole harness, so you could just plug in a stereo. You could buy a, a used Ford radio if you want for 50 bucks, or you can go get Bluetooth and the whole bed. That's why we don't do that. There's uh, overdrive off and on, because some people want to have real radios with Bluetooth and stuff, and some people don't care. All right, so there's your uh, 4x4, right, and reverse. That's a big boy truck right there. All right, neutral, or high. This freaking excursion ran out of fuel right there, and it's diesel, so I think everyone knows what's gonna happen there. Huge pain in the butt. All right, so we're back to two-wheel drive. Let's see, let me open the gate here, and we'll go for a ride. Let's try some windshield wipers, got it. All right. Turn the air down so you can hear me a little bit better. All right, this truck, if you want to drive it, obviously you need plates and you need insurance. You can get neither on a salvage title. We have to take it to the cops, uh, the actual gun wearing police, and they do what's called a level three inspection here. Once they're done with that, we take their inspection and the title we have now, the salvage title we have now, and we get a le uh, basically what's called an Arizona restored salvage title. At that point, we can issue plates so you can drive home and you can get uh, insurance. That's $200 to do that before you get here, all right? Um, mandatory if you're gonna drive it home. Then we have a $250 dock fee and we have taxes. Taxes are whatever your state tax rate is plus our city tax of 2.7%. So if you come here, it's your state tax rate plus our city tax rate of 2.7, a $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're obligated to pay is agreed upon price and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. But if you want us to restore the title before it ships out, let us know um, early in the transaction. We'll add $200 to the price of the vehicle and we'll go get it done for you, okay? Um, oh, also, you're responsible for your shipping, okay? So if you're gonna ship it out of state, you're responsible for that. But if you need help, let us know early and I can help you, okay? Um, we can either do it for you, roll it into the price of the vehicle, uh, the price of the shipping and the price of the vehicle. We can just give you some phone numbers that you can call and you can do it yourself. Or like many of our many multiple vehicle buyers uh, who have become professionals at shipping their vehicles, you can do it yourself, okay? Um, what else? This thing is a nice ride for a big boy. They don't usually ride like this. Of course, it's got low miles, but still with when you lift them like this you usually end up with a problem and i see a fire truck pulling out and he's going the other way good um anyway let us know if you need help with shipping uh deposits 500 dollars. please get your deposit in once we have an agreed upon price that way uh it will be taken off for sale without a deposit it will stay for sale until the first deposit comes in last part of every video i say the same thing and i have for many 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 years well over a decade we don't have salesmen we don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have an attendant uh, serving scones and lattes and sandwiches. Um, like they have, they have all that crap at the auto mall. And every time you buy a vehicle, you're paying for that stuff. The salesman and the lattes and the attendant. They also have a beautiful location with great pavement and, and, uh, and fountains and all kinds of stuff. Their rent's huge. Our rent's a dollar a year. Uh, family owns our property, so you're not paying for our beautiful location we're very industrial we have night vision cameras and and razor wire and cops all over the place chasing crackheads that's what we have all right that's not very expensive property all right um, free is actually one dollar is actually very cheap so you're not paying our rent you're not paying our salesman you're not paying our attendants serving scones uh, the other thing that the auto mall is if they sell you this vehicle um, and something breaks, you're gonna bring it back and say, hey, I just paid a fortune for this thing, fix my truck, okay? Well, uh, they also charge you between five and $700 every time you buy a vehicle at the new car dealership from their used car property. Five to $700 is just out and set aside at the price for future repairs, okay? Uh, they're not gonna fix your vehicle with their money, they're gonna fix your vehicle with your money. So they charge that up front. We don't charge that up front, okay? We don't charge that up front because we're not fixing your vehicle. Your vehicle is your vehicle. You're saving a fortune buying from us. So please realize that uh, 
with that money you're saving, you are going to have to fix your truck at some point. There's uh, no doubt that something will break on every vehicle on the road. Every vehicle you see in this video is gonna break, including this truck, okay? But because of the title, which is fantastic for the uh, price of the vehicle for you, because of the title and because uh, uh, we don't have all the extras that the uh, new car dealers have, uh, you're not paying a fortune, okay? So use that money to fix your truck, all right? Bottom line, no checks are being written by Wheel Kinetics for this truck, period, ever, okay? Um, that being said, it runs like a 70,000 mile truck should run. It runs really good. And uh, even with those gigantic aggressive tires on it, it's pretty quiet. It's actually really quiet. Look at the steering wheel. Not a whole lot of play in this thing, you know? It's really nice, actually. Um, anyway, I think that's about it. I think I've got 17 minutes and 38 seconds is how long these videos can be. I'm not sure how YouTube uh, determined that length for our videos, but it did. So I just kind of go till the 17 minute and 38 second mark so you can see as much as you can, right? Tuttle with this truck right now. Get that door handle. That's what we'll do on this trip. And if there's no traffic, you could see that auto mall because we're about uh, half a mile uh, west of it. We got to make a left at the light, go down the street. We'll probably run out of time before we actually get there. 40 seconds. There's probably no way, but we're about a minute away from the auto mall if we got green lights. Seventeen minutes and fourteen seconds, huh? Anyway, we're just about there. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Really nice truck. And that's it, buddy. Right.